Okay, I'm gonna take the, uh, I'm gonna cut this board out and I'm gonna center it for the faucet. So I need to move these boards and then mount the bracket for the faucet. That's, so that's what I'm doing now. I can reach it without killing my arm. Let me do it. It's not good. This is, hold on. I'm just gonna cut the bolts or the nails out of here. Let me do it. Okay, now I gotta center the, uh, the faucet. Well, this will only take a second, probably. Yeah, well, the, I'll put one here, one here, and center it. Here's a mounting bracket for the uh, faucet. It sits in there this way and has two befores, one here and one here, and then you put them in between there. These holes are going to be at the center of the lever to the valve to drain, and that is the center of the faucet that goes out through the middle. So they're in line with the two middle holes. So I think that's right in the center of this mounting bracket. This to be right in the middle of that, and then I can just put some two befores that needs to go over that way. So I can get a two before in between here. Put these over. <laughs> Pretty good guess there, I guess. Pretty good guess. Well, that's level there. That's level there, so. Is that level? That's level. Don't set it. Hold it for you. Check it across here. Push it up tight against these boards. That's what I'm looking for for the tile purpose. Yeah, I don't think you'd be able to. That's good. We can make with the mud. Make with the mud. The difference. There you go. There you go, Parker. Now I gotta measure from here to here. Okay. I'm gonna put these uh for the, the mounting brackets for the faucet. These gotta be a two and a quarter inches back from here. <laughs> and then two and a quarter here. I'm gonna get a straight edge and draw a line. Two and a quarter. quarter. Two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. Oh, dang, that hurts my arm. to braise these on here to the copper to the brass so we've got it about that's a good height I can move the tub over that way some plus I can adjust this a little bit this way okay cut this piece in get it the right height I think we're good. And if I need to, I'll take this piece off back here and move it back this way some if I need to. 
because we still got the back uh, the hardy backer board and the tile to go in here and then the tile and everything these knobs and stuff have to be in here far enough and don't look stupid so there could be some more adjustments I need to do but we will see so I'm going to cut another piece here 13 and 3 quarters get it three inches away from each other so I can put this mounting on here and then we'll be done with that so I'll get that cut and then you'll see it all right I'm going to put uh, these fittings on the top of the uh, cold and hot water valve uh, on an off switch and then we've got to put some uh, blue monster goop on the top of this and then I'm going to use this uh, uh, copper crimp rings and put this uh, hot and cold water half inch uh, pipe with the rings on there and I'm going to crimp them with that and then I've got to use the go and no go uh, sizer if the ring goes up to this point, up to that about there, it's a go. And if it goes all the way up here, it's crimped too much. So we'll see that in a minute. But I got to drill a hole and move that pipe over first before I do anything because I need to get that uh, away from the wall a little bit. So I'm going to drill a couple of holes. I'm going to drill a hole here. Maybe cut that with the sawzall. Just use the just, just use the one. hand one. No, I'm just gonna use the sawzall real quick. Just cut it right, ya. There, I gotta get that over there. See, now I need to do it again because I can't have that lever in that way of that you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna do it again I'll just put it here where it's beautiful wood if it was wood it would work better to put the, this blue monster stuff on the two fittings I'm going to tighten them down and the whole purpose is this so Steve can take a jacuzzi now we're gonna we're gonna test the we're gonna test everything make sure the jacuzzi works or whirlpool bath anyway I'm gonna put some of this crap on there This is going to stay on now. I'm not taking it off again. Now these are brass fittings. Non-lead brass fittings for the uh, hot and cold water line. Which will be for the Whirlpool and the shower. shower. Yeah, Whirlpool shower and all the... All the sh rain shower and... The, the on thing. and off valves over here for the shower. The whole thing. 
I think this one's cold because usually it's a right hand, left hand type thing. I think, anyway. I don't swear by it until I turn everything on and find out. Oh, blue monster is white. Pipe. Goop. Pipe poop. We are about ready to test this tub. I need to plug it in over there. We've had this Whirlpool for about close to five years, I think. Probably. What did we pay for it? I think it was around three thirty-two hundred. And you pulled them up the other day and they're like seven grand now? Yeah, something like that. They've gone up a lot. I mean, this is better than gold. <laughs> but we've never turned it on. We've never tried it. It's been sitting around for all those years. So we want to make sure there's no leaks or anything. That's why we're going to do this right now. Figured it was safer to do it and before we all put it in there forever. But you got to put these uh, copper crimp rings. You got to put it on the pipe first. And then you want to be about an eighth of an inch away from the bottom here so you can be making sure that you got the crimp on there. Uh oh. There. You want to be up a little bit. And then when you put your. See how that's separated there a little bit? That's pretty much where you want to be. Now you take your crimping tool and put it on the ring. And. You want to close it all the way. Like that. You take it off. You take your go and your no go tool. And like I said, if it slides over it, and that's where you want it. You don't want it to hit here. If it does, see you, you don't want it to hit here. You don't want it to go all the way. You see where that line is? That's right in the middle of your crimp. And so that's a good crimp. It means that it's gonna hold. Okay? So that one's done. And that's where you want it. You don't want it to go all the way here because if it is, it's crimped too tight. Cold water line on that one. And we're going to take the hot water line and put it on this. And then we're going to fill that tub up. And then we're going to test it. We're going to fill it up. Test it. And see if every all the jets work. There's no leaks in the pipes anywhere. Because we've had it a long time. We've moved it several times. Up and down, over and around. And then when I get ready, I'm going to cut this off up here. Because I'm going to have to put the water line that goes that way, the little fitting anyway, that goes that way and goes to the other direction, which is, uh, I got to put one of these on each of these. This is the fitting that goes water one line that way and one that way and fits on top of there. So I'm going to have to cut this pipe this way, put another fitting on it. And so we can go one direction or the other. And maybe I can go this direction and come out because we're going to have a step up here. So there'll be room for making that line go out in front of here or go that way with it. But they do have a, a monster like that. I need it to go there and like that so I can go that way and that way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That way and that way. And then this one would probably be okay. I need one at least of those out of the way. So you now let's do the, the left hand side is the hot water and the right hand side is the cold water. If not, I can have a chance to change them and I've just been wondering about that anyway. Alright, anyway, doesn't matter I guess. Okay, put that line on there. Take my crimping tool. Got to make sure it's up above that bottom part a little bit so it gets right where it should be on that uh, 
fitting. Right. So then we put that in there like that. Yeah, there's the muscle. So it's above there a little bit. That's good. Above that one, that's good. Now we're going to put the no and or go and no go tool on there. And like I say again, this has to be right in the middle of the crimp, your ring. If it goes all the way here, you got to take it off. And that's perfect. So now we can clean the tub up. I think that's good. We can rinse it out that way now. I'm the one who's got to get in there. Are you excited? Yeah. It's an American standard silent, echo silent whirlpool. We'll fill it up. Let's, let's try this. Now, like I said, I don't want it too hot. But we'll do both at the same time. Make sure I'm not shooting it up in the air or anything. Getting some tape and tape it around here and put it over there. the your little thing over there. That little thing. That little thing. Listen children to a story that was written. It's plugged in. All right, we're plugged in. Silent Whirlpool. Eco silent, we'll see. That's a lot of water. Okay, it's starting to go down through the overflow. So that's it. Here's the on and off switch. Uh, I think maybe you can probably. need like 10,000 pounds of it. Let me get in. Let Looks like they're in. all working. Huh? They're all working. They're all blowing. That's nice up here. That's for your feet. You can direct them. That's pretty hard on those. That's pretty hard on that one. That's pretty hard on that one. Uh, I think that knob over there is for pressure. Get in there and turn that one on over there. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that's for how hard you want it to blow. That's kind of that's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> See, that's warm enough. Oh yeah. There's one there too. Oh yeah! Oh. Woo! Oh. oh yeah! I think that made it harder. Yeah, my back. Thank you. 
feels good on my feet. Woo. So, uh, where's the heat? That might be a heat and a... Might be on all the time. Whatever you do, just don't stop. You just move. 